Hey guys, just doing a quick review on the Z Moon motorcycle LED driving fog lights, um, 60 watts, uh, designed for Harley Davidson, e bike, Jeep, pickup, blah blah blah. I basically picked them up for uh, an e bike. Um, the yellow, uh, the light, the way it's set up here with their, uh, their picture here, is pretty uh, accurate. I tested it in the basement and it's about a car's. Car's length width of light, very bright too. Um, I didn't find the yellow more brighter than the, the white. Uh, I tried mixing them, it was the brightest. The casing itself, well, I'll show you, but the casing itself is aluminum. The lock ring is aluminum. The lens is plastic. It's actually got a, um, a seal in it. The packaging was terrible. I've already got one downstairs, so I already took it apart. Um, there's your bracket. This is your light and your hardware. It comes with an Allen key. Uh, let's get. Let's see if I can get this thing open. There you go. There's an actual fan in it. Um, I took it apart, took the fan out, and if you pry on the each side, it'll pop out. There's a board in there with a bunch of epoxy holding the board, and that's your DC inverter because it's, uh, I think it takes up to 30 volts, um, nine, 9 volts to 30 volts. And uh, it's got the DC inverter for the LED itself. It's like I said, two color. It's white, bright white, and yellow. Um, the fan is not potted. Uh, when I took it out, you can see bare PCB on the back. So, you know, even if it does fail, the, the, the heat sink um, on the outside is enough to cool the uh, LED, especially if you're moving at the vehicle's in motion. This is just, uh, you know, it's it's cool that it works, but it may you have one rainstorm on the vehicle. This gets wet, it, it's going to just short, and that will be the end of that fan. Hopefully it doesn't short out the board in there and then kill the light. Um, that is yet to be seen when I use it, but uh, they're nice and bright. Definitely 60 watt. Now there's your wire in there, your ground, and I believe red is white and yellow is yellow. I could be wrong. Could be the other way around. But build quality for the price is pretty good. Um, been better. Oh, I'll show you the seal. It would have been better if um. One sec. It would have been better if it had a glass lens versus plastic. Um, should be interesting to see how long the lens lasts before it fades and cracks and everything else. Probably not that long. But it didn't cheap out in the case. The case is all aluminum. There's your lens, which is plastic. And at least they put an O-ring in it. Keep the water out. There's your LED. Um, I took the screws out. I didn't see any paste in there um, to put paste on it to help cool it. You'd have to desolder it. I couldn't be bothered. I'm sure it's fine. Like I said, it gets pretty warm, but not so warm that you, uh, it'll fry. I don't think the fan really does that much of anything. But that's it. I mean, for that price, I mean, <laughs> it should be all plastic, but it's all aluminum. And they do work good, so, uh, yeah. Okay, sorry about the crudeness of the test. This is basically what I'm using now. It takes up about a lane. It uh, actually looks much brighter on the camera than it really is, which isn't too bad. Let's try the other one. Damn, that's bright. I think if you look at it from the side, you can see the uh, mist in the air. But uh, that's more focused. I like that. More narrow beam. That's where it's at. Let's try a yellow and see what it looks like. Here's the yellow. <laughs> kind of like the yellow better.
definitely better light and being smaller is a bit of a bonus. I don't think you would need two of them, but uh, we'll try it out anyway. <laughs> 